hi welcome to my channel raw electron today i am going to review this uh, boost converter basically it's a xl 6009 e1 boost converter what is a boost converter it basically step up the voltage it boosts the voltage as you can see as you, in simple words boost the voltage means if you provide it's uh, 5 to 5 volt 9 volt it boosts up to 20 to 35 volts so the spec specifications of this module is its input range is about 3 volts to 32 volts and it will provide provide you 5 volt to 35 volts output so i will review it may i will make its connections and also will test some leds at 12 volt led strip it's a 40 volt led so let's start first of all we have to do its wiring so let's connect all the wires as you can see that here is written uh, these input here you can see the input wires input and output so let's connect all the wires all the wirings are done as you can see that I have connected wires to this module and uh, this is a 4 volt battery 4 volt 3.7 volt lithium ion cell oh, almost full charge voltage is 4 volts 4.2 volts and this is these are the outputs please keep in mind this module have no reverse polarity protection if you can connect the battery backwards it will damage the module so let's test some loads by applying the connections it's a 12 volt led strip as you can see that it will not work when i connect to this because it's a 12 volt and the cell is about 3.7 volts it will not work so we need a multimeter for this set the multimeter to about 200 volt range output of the module as you can see that I have on the input connection I have connected a, a 3.7 volt cell and at the output it is providing me 21 volts probes are connected so let's change the voltage so 21 volts for example I have to drive a 12 volt LED strip so I will set the voltage to about in the anti-clockwise direction it increases and in the clockwise it decreases but it always step up the voltage as you can see that 4 volt input and output you can set it to 12.5 it's ok now connect the 12 volt LED strip As you can see that LED is glowing. Let's measure the current through the LED. How much it's drawing. So we need a clamp meter. Set it to 40 volts. 40, sorry, 40 ampere DC. zero point one seven ampere a little current is consuming consumed by this LED strip now disconnect it let's try another load as you can see that this cob LED is about 40 volts this module can provide about 37 volts 35 volts so let's check let's check again I have connected the probes now I will measure the output voltage and one thing keep in mind that besides boosting the voltage it slows it decreases the current uh, so 
at 5 volts it can provide up to 3 amps because it is rated for maximum 2.5 to 3 amps in the manual and in the specifications so basically it can provide uh, at 5 to 9 volts it can provide maximum 2 ampere but at 35 volts 20 volts it can hardly provide 0 0.5 ampere because it have to correct the power factor voltage is slowly increasing I will increase it to about 35 volt max hey what the hell man it is providing 38.4 volts at output so it's the maximum voltage is not rising beyond this limit so I will test so let's connect this 30 40 volt LED yes it's working So let's test the let's test the current through this LED. what the hell 0 0.01 ampere too low man so basically this module provides low current than it's rated because at maximum maximum 38 volts 35 volts it can hardly provide 100 milliampere or, or 200 milliampere so basically you can uh, you can drive low power low power appliances or things on this module but it's a good overall approach of this module is good so if you have any questions about it you can ask me in the comment section please do subscribe my channel and hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next video